hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter so today's video is by legushi and his family and also to introduce to you guys an incoming queen that was introduced to the palace recently but before we start this beautiful woman you are seeing right here with oba elegwishi is his first wife her name is Uluru sekinat and um, they have been married for 19 good years and uh, they also had three beautiful daughters so in 2010 after the death of oba elegwishi's father he was made the king of Ikete land and in 2019 he got married to this beautiful um, woman Olori Hadiza um, she is a princess from the north and she's also into oil and gas she's a big girl from a very um, rich family in the north northern part of Nigeria they had a son together they first had a son together but unfortunately they lost him in august 2020 may his soul continue to rest in peace amen so right now they later had a, a daughter so right now by Lebishi had three daughters with his first wife and a daughter with his second wife so after then um you know after he lost his son who was supposed to be the prince and uh, the you know the crown prince of ikete land the king started um looking for a son who will replace him when he's gone he started looking outside we heard that time that he dated um Inedo, but we didn't believe it now we started seeing him with this beautiful woman right here her name is Toye lawani she's the ceo of seal oil she's actually the incoming uluri the new wife of obai lebi she fact we heard that they have done smutting on her head um she also had a daughter with Oba Elegwishi, this beautiful um, little princess you are seeing there is the daughter. And before then, she, you know, she she's a single mother. She's one of those big girls in Lagos that are single mother. The little boy you are seeing there is also his son. So, because the king needed somebody, a son, not really, he needs someone, a woman that will give birth to a son for him. So he started, you know, they started dating. You know, we talk about this rumor that was last year. You know, a lot of people said it's not true, you know, that, that what is the lady looking for? She has money, that, this and that. Then, now they said the wedding, the official wedding date has been fixed, but they are not um, allowing the public to know about it until at that moment but we'll still hear about it and i'll still come here to post it for you guys so after she had that daughter some are saying that she had it she had the daughter early this year some are saying that a um, few months ago some are saying that few weeks ago but when you look at that picture of that beautiful girl there the baby may be around maybe three months or four months or two months i don't really know now people are saying that Oba Elegwishi is following the footstep of Oni of Ife and that he is hurting his first wife, his first love, who he always talk about how much he love her and this and that. Remember when he married second wife Olori Adiza, Olori Sekinat broke down. In fact, people said she nearly fall into depression. Um, every, every like she and the second wife are always fighting at the palace but right now they said they are peace that you know they are co-existing right now everybody has their own quarters and all of that now this biggest girl in lagos is coming to join the league of oba elegwishi's wife and i wonder how the second wife will be feeling right now people are saying that she's not supposed to feel anything because um that's the same thing she did to the first wife so people are now saying that this third wife that they will still do the same thing to you as he came in 
another woman will stay calm. Now, my question is, this king, um, Oba Elegushi, you are seeing right here, is a very rich king. He can afford anything, like, about IVF and all of that. I was saying that, why didn't the king, like, um, go for gender selection? See, one thing people don't know about childbirth is, is what your husband puts inside your body that's what you're going to give birth to if he's a girl if he's a boy like the sex of a child is as in it depends on the man yes it's a man thing honestly so now people are saying that the king should go and do gender selection with ivf like if he's really really desperate to have a son that will replace him when he's gone remember Obai Eleguishi's um, kingship lineage lies on if you have a son, if you are gone, your son will become the king and it will continue like that. If you, if you didn't have a son, the kingship will go to another family. But like only of you first kingship, their own is they contest or the ruling house will pick um, some good men from their family and they will contest. But in Obai Eleguishi's case, you have to have a son and your son will continue the kingship stuff. So that your lineage will continue going like king, 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 king. You understand? So people are now saying that since the king has all the money, why not? Or uh, maybe he should have tried with his second wife, um, do IVF, like do a gender selection. He has money. They can do it in abroad. They can do it in Nigeria. And uh, they are saying that maybe the king has too many X carrying chromosomes in his sperm. Like... All these people that study biology and nurses, or they will understand what I'm saying. So basically, they are saying that if the king impregnates, let's say, um, 20 women, it's likely that um, 19 of them might give birth to girl, 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 you know, and maybe it's only one that might give birth to a, a boy. So they were not suggesting why not, you know, he go for gender selection, that if he continue like this, he might keep on marrying until he married up to 20 women. Whereas he has the money to do the needful so that he will save himself all the stress of plenty women. But people are saying that in Yoruba land, the king, or not only in Yoruba land, the kings are entitled to marry so many wives. But in his own case, like according to people that knows him, they said he's marrying so many wives because of he's looking for his son. And he's very, very understandable. So since he has money, why not he try this gender selection through IVF and do this stuff? Maybe he doesn't want to do it like that. I'm just saying my own, if he really, really desperate to have a son. And I believe that um, only of if is his friend, right? So both of them, um, they can, you know, advise each other. Why not get plenty wives? You get more son, you understand? So I think, and they said after um, this beautiful third wife that is coming that more wives are coming that Oba Elegushi and Oni of Ife are doing competition of who will marry more wives but for me I believe that he has the solution for this because he has money he has the connection he has everything if really he's desperate to have a son I think he can do IVF unless he doesn't want it anyway I just said let me come and do a preco and a, a proco and tell you guys what is happening um I don't know if you have any questions you can just ask me on the comment section or you drop your thoughts about this video on the comment section what do you think do you think he's really um desperate do you think ivf um, and gender selection should have been the best or marrying so many wives and this wife also has given birth to a baby girl for him so you can understand why people are saying that he should go for IVF gender selection. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.